we got a Ford Ranger. And this one has no molding. So for these situations, it's always best to be prepared and have a cord tool. Just to avoid any scratches. We're gonna put the bat on one side. So this one should we're gonna do we're gonna keep it anchored to the to the spider so we're gonna run it all the way around the spider when you run it through you run it through the passenger side first so that way it doesn't um you know act weird on you so it goes through here and around the passenger so just gonna tuck it in On these corners, you're able to go from one side to the other. So instead of putting it here in the in the middle, you could run it all the way over there. But I just like um, the extra strength it has when it's a little closer, because right here it has some some big clips. So wherever you want to position the bat, just make sure that you have the best cutting angle. Um, the machine, it's all about uh, feeling. So if you feel that it, uh, that it gets a better cutting angle from one side than the other, then but it's all about that angle. Big ass clip. Well, it's not that big, but it's really strong. So we prepped the glass using the Sika Power Clean Aid. So what it really is is 
these uh these sponges like some mr clean Tika sells their own uh, uh, solvent to clean but we like to use alcohol if you check out these uh, fingerprints on the top and the grease of the fingers from all the you know warehouses uh, we gotta clean this off really good otherwise some of the urethane won't ad ad adhere all the way so we just get a little alcohol on the powdery and we give it a few good scrubs And just do this all throughout the frit, the whole frit. Scrub it down a little. Then I'll leave it nice and clean. And then it'll give us a good surface to uh, put our active. So you can see all the fingerprints are gone. No more greasiness. After that, we use this activator just so that it here, so that it adheres really good to the glass um the glue that we use is p2g which means permanent to glass um we use the plus and then we always we also use the new ultimate and it all depends on the price range for the client if they want to drive away in 30 minutes or if they want to drive away in three hours my wife is getting it with the primer 207 just so any scratches that we see we can get them with this so they won't rust up and it'll be a lot cleaner thankfully it's black so and no molding but some cars um the white cars you gotta be really careful i got this question on how i shoot on the body and on the glass when i shoot on the glass we know we follow the right path we take off the old windshield and we lay it right next to uh, the new glass so right here you can uh, check out how far off you are and then you just get it with your activator and just follow the path these ones also have these little dots So that's where you'll go to. So we still go here. And then right here, check out the corner. So, it's all about preference. If you want to shoot it on the glass or on the body, um, as long as it doesn't leak on you, then you're doing a good job. The only thing I will like highly, highly recommend is that you use a V-bead. There are some places that uh, just cut the top off evenly and they use a, like an O. The problem with the O is that a lot of air gets stuck in between or inside of the glue and it makes up pockets of air so to avoid that the the v-bead is just uh superior so it doesn't matter if you shoot on the glass or the body just make sure you have a v and your joints make sure that your joints are uh are nice and clean
So this is what I mean by a uh, union. When the beginning and the end meet. So just make sure that when you do this, you paddle it really good. Make sure that the seam is gone and nothing could go through. Nowhere, no water. And when you shoot on the glass, try to start at the bottom. The less unions you have, the better. And the more towards the bottom center, the better. Because if you do it on the top, and by pure bad luck, you miss a little, like a little, little spot, it'll start dripping, especially from the top because of the gravity. At the bottom, you only have to worry about air, but even then it's not, it's all preventable. But that's it. So y'all probably saw when I was shooting here, I got a big goop, I got a big like, booger a big moco sometimes the urethane has like i don't know it just like hardens inside of the tube um that's more of a manufacturer type of thing but if that ever happens um take it out because you're gonna avoid problems and then just refill it so here's another union so just gotta make sure that it's real good i'm gonna take my time right now but i just wanted to we'll show you guys because i know you guys saw that and i don't want you to think that i did it you know clean it out but uh, we do everything the right way, right? <laughs> We're gonna make it all nice and clean, no leaks, no nothing. Lifetime warranty. Right. So we installed an OEM. So car light, and then, I don't know if you can see Ranger. So, yeah. Well, here's a funny fact. Car light, which is Ford, it's made in Mexico. So the OEM is not made in the US, it's not, it's made in Mexico. And it has the clips, so we don't need any tape because the, the pins just go back in. No need for tape, so yeah, OEM.